And so much of what I do is simply talking about the Holy Ghost, saying who He is, because He needs to be unveiled and revealed as who He is as God in the earth today before people can worship Him and walk with Him as God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. I consider it a, a great honor and privilege to be able to share with you here and those online. People are being blessed by the hundreds, and shall be, listen, and shall be blessed by the thousands. And in the new manifestation of the Spirit, says the Lord, they shall be even blessed by the millions so we need to continue and keep on with the way that we're going and great things shall happen so if you listen I can take you there I know it but it takes belief from you in order to get you to go there with me Do you understand Because I'm not just a teacher although I teach I'll be teaching tonight I'm not just a pastor although I pastor but I am here to bless you and take you someplace you could not go before without it and that's the fact that's the way it is and so when I stand in that office or stand in the gifts of the Spirit that God has called me to and I begin to speak from them they're able to take you someplace that you could not go without it and I am here to bless you and take you someplace I hope you can hear this because I have come into the kingdom and so are you for such a time as this which means we have things to fulfill in our day and age that couldn't have been fulfilled in a day and age before us we have to fulfill them now we've come into the earth and I have a message that was able to take us someplace for such a time as this and I have the ability to take you there if you'll listen and believe and the there is the new manifestation of the Spirit which I've been talking about over and over again if you go and listen to many of our messages online we are going into the new manifestation of the Spirit and it shall be great it shall be wonderful and many shall be blessed well how do you know you're able to take us there because that's part of the calling that's part of the gift that's part of the anointing is able to speak words that affect you in such a way where you can be transformed and go forwards isn't this exciting first Timothy, first Timothy chapter 4 and then let's look at verse 16 take heed to thyself we're worrying about your neighbor so much take heed to thyself and unto the doctrine did your Bible say that take heed to yourself and unto the doctrine continue in them in them what in them doctrine and in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee but here it says continue in the doctrine take heed to yourself and continue in the doctrine well here at the society we know and we have a doctrine called the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words we have many other doctrines that go along with that but you need to take heed to that doctrine and give yourself wholly to it and then your profiting will appear our dispensation what we do in the earth begins with the Holy Ghost it begins with the Holy Ghost it doesn't end with the Holy Ghost we, that is simply the beginning receiving the Holy Ghost is the beginning say that with me receiving the Holy Ghost is the beginning receiving the Holy Ghost as God see and this is the part that has been glossed over by religious traditional thinking the Holy Ghost is God he came into the earth on the day of Pentecost and is still here today that's our doctrine is that we receive God into the earth and because he is God worshiping him is not out of the ordinary or shouldn't be it should be one of the first and foremost things we do is worship the Living God do you understand that 
and here at the society I've been preaching on this preaching on this preaching on this the fact that the Holy Ghost is God he's the one in the earth the Father's in heaven Jesus is at his right hand and is going to be coming back who's in the earth today the Holy Ghost and you got to give yourself holy to this doctrine in order to have it manifest and that's what we're talking about is a new manifestation of the Spirit of God this is like plowing here it's like plowing a field with a bunch of rocks and boulders in it you got to keep going after it and keep going after it you got to sharpen your hoe some more and get it back in the ground and run it down again why because it's it's ground that hasn't been tilled up it's been just it's been covered over with religious traditional thinking that doesn't let you go to where you need to go which is walking with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today and the new manifestation that comes from him being God we, we go through this whole dispensation getting better and better and bigger in the Holy Ghost you got to ask yourself well how did you get here do you know how you got here that's how you know whether your doctrine is good it's solid is because you can you can describe and tell people fluently how you got to this place so when I say the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you walk with him by saying words well how did you get here well we know how we got here in John 16 7 you don't have to turn there John 16 7 Jesus said it is more profitable say more profitable more profitable that I go away what is that Jesus it's more profitable that I go away and if I go away which we know he did he would send another now I preach and have been preaching and people don't like it but I've been preaching that Jesus went away you see he's not here they don't like that Jesus went away and sent he couldn't send if he was still here so he said it's more profitable if I go away so I preach listen that Jesus went away which means Jesus isn't here and he sent another he sent the Holy Ghost and therefore the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you see this and Jesus shall return has Jesus returned yet no of course not therefore he shall return he's still on in the process of returning but he's not going to return until we fulfill everything we're supposed to fulfill in this dispensation of the Holy Ghost which we can't do if you keep preaching that Jesus hasn't left and he's still here in some capacity so I preach that Jesus went away and sent another is that okay is that scriptural yes Jesus went away and sent another we know that we can we that's how we got here that's how we understand where we're at in the earth with the Holy Ghost who's in the earth with us and Jesus is in heaven at the Father's right hand I preach that Jesus went away and sent an another you preach that he's still here in some form or another still with you which one is more profitable which doctrine is more profitable which doctrine did Jesus say is more profitable the doctrine of me going away and sending another or the doctrine of me going away and coming back and going and coming back and sending a portion of another gifts and things whatever which one's more profitable I'm telling you which one's more profitable it is more profitable to have the Holy Ghost here as God in the earth today I worship you Holy Ghost and we shall be able to go forward farther than people who are being hampered by this other type of doctrine you know I'm not I'm not really here trying to you know to jump on people I'm simply trying to say this is the doctrine that if we give ourselves, are you here this is the doctrine that if we give ourselves to it we will profit more than if we don't it's not that I'm trying to you know uh, rebuke anybody or say you know bad things about anybody else 
that's up to them and God I'm simply trying to tell you the doctrine that we have that if you will listen it will go into you and you'll be able to go farther than someone else could or than you could without that doctrine so that's what we shall do and we shall go here we go we're going on you understand we're going on to as Romans chapter 8 says all things working together for you now that's a supernatural happening and it means in the earth all things working together for you what do you mean all things I mean all things working for you not you working for them them working for you and it's a manifestation of the sons of God it is a manifestation of the Spirit of God it's a new manifestation of the Spirit of God that frankly we need to go to so the Spirit the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost must be unveiled first and so much of what I do is simply talking about the Holy Ghost saying who he is because he needs to be unveiled and revealed as who he is as God in the earth today before people can worship him and walk with him as God in the earth today does that make sense because we've literally had thousands of years of suppression of that message contorting it into something else so what I'm doing even here tonight is unveiling the Spirit of God this is the new manifestation of the Spirit this is our new reality the veil being taken off the Spirit of God 2nd Corinthians 3 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away the Lord who you say well look at verse 17 now the Lord is now the Lord now 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 the Lord is the Spirit where when in our day and age right now now the Lord is the Spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or other translations say where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty now mind you that if the Spirit isn't Lord there can't be the liberty that he must be talking about here where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty where the Spirit isn't Lord not as much liberty right so where the Spirit is Lord there is liberty and he said we had to have a veil taken away in order to be able to see where we were at with the Holy Ghost being Lord you know when I even say that I can I can feel the rebellion against it when I say when I say the Holy Ghost is Lord there's a rebellion against that who do you think doesn't like that well the devil number one and religious people number two but I'm not wrong what in our day and age who's Lord in the earth the Holy Ghost is Lord where the Spirit is Lord if you want to walk in the Liberty I'm talking about and I'm trying to get you to go to a Liberty that we have not been in yet a Liberty that isn't accessible to people who don't go to the Lord the Spirit they can't get there any other way it says now the Lord is that spirit and where where meaning it it's a place it's a it's a place in the spirit where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty there is freedom and a type of freedom that obviously isn't somewhere else read on but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord Holy Ghost are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the from Liberty to Liberty to Liberty all which are another measures of glory by the Spirit of the Lord the Holy Ghost first must be revealed as who he is please listen the Holy Ghost must be first revealed as who he is and once you know who he is you don't have a problem worshiping him am I wrong 
No, if you had the Holy Ghost revealed to you as God, you wouldn't have a question in your mind whether you should worship Him or not. You'd be like, oh, 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 you're God, I worship you. It's an automatic knee-jerk reaction to God, you fall down and worship Him. Problem is, people don't know Him as God. And yet, here we have it in the Scriptures over and over again that the Holy Ghost is God and He is revealing Himself. So the Holy Ghost must first be unveiled. You see what I'm talking about? He needs to be unveiled who He is, number one, first. Uncovered, unveiled means uncovered, revealed, and you could even say a manifestation. And so when we're talking about, I hope you're excited about this, when we're talking about the unveiling or manifestation of the Spirit or a new manifestation of the Spirit, this is what we're talking about, the unveiling of the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today. Number one, we'll and see then some of the things that begin to happen to us remember because we're changed into the same image from glory to glory when he's the spirit is Lord there's a liberty that couldn't that couldn't manifest in the earth until the spirit is Lord there's a liberty that couldn't be revealed in the earth until the spirit is Lord the spirit must be unveiled first uncovered here it says this is when the Spirit is Lord there's a liberty that you wouldn't have any other way. and then then we're changed remember he says where the Spirit is Lord there's liberty and then we're changed from glory to glory then we're changed after the Spirit is revealed to be as Lord you understand that's why I tell you that worshiping the Holy Ghost is such a big deal because as you worship him it enables him to begin to reveal himself to you as God in the earth today as the Lord God as the living God as all of the things that he, he truly is and does for you so as he is real revealed as Lord God in the earth today then we're changed into his image we're changed into his likeness we're changed into his manifestation say his manifestation his manifestation is what we're being changed into Ooh, yeah we're talking about the Holy Ghost revealing himself unveiling himself and the number one way he does that is through his word you understand that right second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation and he said to know it first for the prophecy came not in old time uh, by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so men of God spake and then it got written down as they were moved by who the Holy Ghost so here we have scriptures and there are many other scriptures that say the same thing I go listen to last week's message if you need to but it is the Holy Ghost speaking and when you open up your Bible and it quickens to you a verse of scripture who's that speaking to you the Holy Ghost God in the earth today now I know a lot of people don't like it that way but that's the way it is and if you're going to be able to have him manifest as the Lord the living God in the earth today and be able to walk in the liberty that he enables you to enter into you're going to have to go there Holy Ghost is speaking to me Holy Ghost is God in any verse of the, these scriptures whenever something is said to me it is the Holy the Ghost saying it now knowing this first remember he said that verse 20 knowing this first that he is the one talking he's the one speaking Jesus in the book of Revelation said hear what the Spirit is saying to the church hear what he's saying to you you're the church hear what the Spirit is saying to you and he did it as he wills he, they, the men were moved not by their will moved by the Holy Ghost's will he knew what to say listen he knows what to say he knew what to say who did the Holy Ghost 
and my point there is pretty simple is that first you need to know that he is revealing himself people go this Bible is the will of God the Word of God the will of God the Bible is the will of God I completely agree who are we talking about it is the Holy Ghost the Bible is the will of the Holy Ghost who wrote it the Holy Ghost by his will he wrote it therefore it is his will you understand so if he's if he's putting down his will what is he revealing he's revealing his will are you getting it who is the Holy Ghost is revealing his will he's revealing himself he speaks of himself he reveals himself first Timothy chapter 6 verse 17 charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high-minded nor trust in uncertain riches but in so we're supposed to trust in the living God are you here now who does the Bible call the living God specifically and concretely in many other messages I've talked about the Living God is the Holy Ghost you are the temple of the Holy Ghost you're the temple of the Living God who is in you right you are supposed to trust in the Living God who now the Bible is the will of God spoken the Bible is the Holy Ghost revealing himself I'm telling you that is so foreign to so many in the body of Christ because of their religious tradition the Bible here he's revealing himself who the Living God who look at this he even says who trust in the Living God Holy Ghost who and then he's gonna describe who he is it's a descriptive name of his who gives us richly all things to enjoy now let's imagine for a moment that I have unveiled to me that the Holy Ghost is the Living God and he's a who and he is one who richly provides me with all things for my enjoyment let's just imagine that that could have happened via this verse of Scripture you understand it's unveiled to me that the Holy Ghost is the Living God and that he is a who who richly provides me with all things for my enjoyment so here I have this Living God that I've I've had unveiled to me and revealed to me who's revealed himself through his will and his scriptures as one who richly provides me with all things for my enjoyment would it not be right for me to thank him number one and would it not be right for me to worship him number two of course it would be because it's been revealed to me the veil's been taken away I know God the Holy Ghost the Living God who richly provides me with all things for my enjoyment are you getting this so he's talking about himself he's revealing himself as a who and what the who he does if you knew him as God you would worship him are you seeing this but in order for you to know him as God he must be revealed to you as God and the Holy Ghost must be revealed first now go to Hebrews chapter 11 Hebrews chapter 11 and here we're gonna have some more verses of Scripture about the Holy Ghost revealing himself brother where do you get all these verses of scripture about the Holy Ghost because I've had revelation that it's the Holy Ghost first and foremost I have come to know that the Holy Ghost wrote these things you see and now I can go okay now he's the one speaking to me who Holy Ghost God in the earth today it's more profitable you see see how much more profitable this is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 you still here but without faith it's impossible to please him him who him we're talking about God it's impossible to please God the Holy Ghost without faith right where does faith come 
faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God the will of God the Word of the Holy Ghost and each and every word from the Holy Ghost has faith within itself without faith it's impossible to please him for he that comes to who your mother comes to God God who but you're coming to God because it's unveiled to us who the Living God is in the earth Holy Ghost we come to God the Holy Ghost and it would really help you if every time you see the word God in the Bible or even Lord if it doesn't specifically say Jesus right next to it or the Father who is in heaven next to it then you can assume and know that it's the Holy Ghost that's talking about himself in our dispensation are you here let's continue for he that comes to God must believe that he he who he the Holy Ghost is are you getting this we want to have revelation of who the Holy Ghost is well we must believe number one that he is well is what is where he is in the earth he is the one the another that Jesus sent we're not dissing Jesus we're not going against Jesus we're simply fulfilling what he wanted us to do in order to be more profitable in order to go more farther I know it's bad English but you understand we have to go to the fullest degree and we can't if we don't receive and do what he told us to do so anyway for he that comes to God Holy Ghost must believe that God Holy Ghost is and that and 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 that he God Holy Ghost is in the earth God Holy Ghost is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him so here you got a little you got a little check off thing do I believe that he's God do I believe that he is in the earth and do I believe that he's a rewarder of me if you can check off those boxes you you're well on your way to having unveiled to you the new manifestation of the Spirit mm -hmm.